So here we are, middle of the English Channel. We're right on the edge of British and French territorial waters. Uh, it's a pretty calm day um, already. There have been three migrant boats spotted. All of these are classed as search and rescue missions. But the truth of it is, uh, this is a massive criminal enterprise that is organizing all of this, making vast sums of money. You can see the boats absolutely packed, all being charged a minimum of 5,000 euros each for the criminal gangs to make this crossing. I mean, you can't believe when you see how close the water is to the edge. I mean, how massively overcrowded this is. We could put them under tow, but there's no point because we know that border force, the vessel is on its way from Dover. So we will just kind of keep guard here. We are now going back into French waters. What we know is that a French naval vessel has been seen escorting boats out of French waters to get them into British waters. Then they're off their hands. So the big French naval vessel now has gone. They've done their job. They've brought, escorted that little dinghy on the left there into British waters. They've now left their own rib off the big vessel just to make sure they're safe until the handover to the border force. They're even trying to prevent us filming it with the French naval vessel trying to get in the way of the handover. We have just been told by UK Coast Guard that they will commandeer this vessel if we film the handover between the French Navy and the British border force. So it's not just the French threatening us, it's now, you know, somebody here I'm out with, they're threatening him with his living if we tell the truth about this story. This has got to be out there. Home Secretary, you've got to act. As many of you will know, I've been trying over the course of the last three weeks to highlight something that is going on in the English Channel. That is the crossing into our country of illegal migrants in small inflatable dinghies. Um, it's growing at a rapid pace. We go back a few years, it was a few hundred here and there. It's been over a thousand in the last couple of months alone. The pace of this, the rate of this is increasing. I'm certain a major fatality is going to happen at some point before very long. And I was pleased that uh, Home Secretary Priti Patel uh, was on the show this morning with Nick Ferrari. That's good because it was the same day that I was out in the English Channel. And if you want to watch uh, what happened to me in the English Channel today, go to lbc.co.uk. So she was on with Nick this morning and Nick asked her directly what she was doing to stop these illegal crossings. We are working night and day, and I, I can say that night because day, I'm in touch with our officers, police officers, border force officers, National Crime Agency, but also from the, my counterparts in France, including French officers and the French authorities um, and the Interior Minister, because we do have a whole raft of work that is taking place on this. Such there, as? There, well, there is a major, major problem in terms of people coming into France and then trying to get over here. Um, yeah. This is organised criminal gangs. I should be very clear about this. We've already had attempts by the these gangs to um, uh, run over police officers in France, attack officers and do all sorts of things. So these are illegally facilitated crossings. In the last year alone, um, immigration enforcement has made a 418 arrests, leading to 203 convictions. We are arresting people. I want the public to know that. We are arresting people. Have you people. got enough kit and supplies? Should you not be using more drones or So we're doing that. I'm going to come on to that in a sec. So we are arresting people and we are returning people really? as well. I don't want your listeners to think that we are sitting mm. here passively. Well, we'll come we to are that. not. We are using the full arm of the law enforcement and immigration enforcement. In terms of kit, we have officers in France, we are using drones, we are using helicopters, we are using night vision goggles, you name it, we are using it. The issue that we have, and I'll be very frank about this, is the amount of beach space that is being patrolled. It is vast in France, and these individuals are using all sorts of tactics, some covert, some overt. That is why we, we, we basically use the National Crime Agency as well to share intelligence with the French authorities. So there is a substantial French law enforcement deployment. We work with them on this, but the scale of this is enormous. We're not extending our transition period with the European Union at the end of this year. Um, we are we're out at the end of this year fully and therefore we're not going to be bound by some of the regulations around how we handle illegal migration. How will that help? So it will help because we'll be introducing new laws. We we'll, we intend to introduce new laws basically that look at the whole end-to-end -end system including some of the pull factors um, that exist within our own asylum system right now but also in our immigration system that basically make the UK an attractive place to come to. 
So that was Home Secretary Priti, Priti Patel. Let me respond to that. We're working night and day. They always say that. We would expect them to be doing so with any problem. We are returning people. I don't want LBC listeners to think we're not. Well, so far this year, it looks to me to be able to, about 3 to 4% of those that have come have been returned. Um, she says, yes, we've got aerial surveillance and drones and we're stepping it up. Yeah, I know. Um, the cost of this every day is absolutely vast. And she says... Once we leave the European Union, we can change the rules on this. Now, she's right about that, if we got the courage to do it. But if we do change the rules, and if the people traffickers realise that from January the 1st, the game is over, then can you imagine what is going to happen in the next seven or eight months? It will become literally an invasion with many, many casualties. So the need to act is to act now. And I think Pretty Patel is way too trusting of the French, frankly, to the point of being naive. So I went out this morning, just after first light, into the English Channel. And uh, already we had uh, the Dover lifeboat out. We had border force vessels out and boats were being picked up. Um, how many? I don't know, because what's really interesting about this is we in the boat that I was on, we heard a report from one of the ships in the shipping lane that said it had seen an inflatable with, they thought, 10 people on it wearing life jackets. We got the point um, of where that big ship was. It was three miles away. We went to it. We found it. Very difficult, by the way, to find something on the ocean like that. The channel may look small on the map. It's not when you're out there. And we were first to the vessel. What I saw absolutely shocked me. Uh, there weren't 10 people on this, I guess about 14 foot inflatable boat. There were 22, literally crammed in, some actually lying on the floor. The boat was in such a bad state, it was taking water, they were having to bail it out. Indeed, the skipper, um, whose boat I was on, said, you know, we may well have to do the rescue ourselves and take these people on board, but uh, before too long, before too long, the lifeboat was there with us, Shortly after that, border force were there um, and they were picked up and taken into the UK. Then what I saw was even more remarkable. We steamed out towards French waters because a report had been received that a French naval vessel was escorting a migrant boat out of French waters. We were threatened by the French Navy that if we went into their waters and tried to film what was going on, we would be boarded. And more than likely, if that had happened, I'd now be somewhere in Boulogne tonight. Um, I doubt getting particularly good food. The French naval vessel we saw very clearly with their own rib that had come off the back of their boat very close to the dinghy. Uh, once they got to English waters, um, border force arrived. And what we witnessed was the handover. Literally, it's called the handover. Uh, the French naval vessel did its best to block our view and try and stop us from filming. And almost unbelievably, the Dover Coast Guard spoke to the skipper of our boat and said that if we filmed the handover, he would have his boat impounded. I am not joking. Every attempt being made by the French and British authorities to make sure we don't know the truth. Nowhere before in the British media has this concept of the handover been looked at. And I'm furious about it. We've spent £400 million in the last 10 years, £400 million, to try and stop this illegal trade. Much of that money spent in France on security, fencing and aid for their various services. And yet, and all right, I get it, they don't want the problem on their shores, but that's not the deal, is it? The fact they're escorting them into British waters and we're putting up with it is an outrage. And the attitude of Pretty Patel's Home Office is stunning because earlier on this afternoon, this message went to the Home Office from LBC. LBC presenter Nigel Farage was out in the English Channel this morning where he witnessed illegal migrant boats heading towards England. He will be mentioning what he witnessed on his show at 6pm this evening on LBC. He'd be very keen to include a response from the Home Office on the following before 6pm this evening. Please can you confirm how many illegal migrant boats and how many illegal migrants 
were intercepted this morning in the English Channel. Two, Nigel would like to know, how long has the policy been in place to allow the French Navy to escort illegal migrant vessels from French waters into British waters, therefore allowing the British border force to intercept and bring them to the UK, something known as handovers. Could you please respond on these points before 6pm this evening? We have received no response at all. They don't want this debate. I'd be very surprised if the BBC News even covered this story. I, I, I've seen this before, where the establishment don't want to discuss an issue. It's too difficult. It's too awkward. Not only is the issue of cost, not only is the issue of us being humiliated as a nation, not only is there the issue of risk of COVID-19, which we know is in those camps in Calais, there's also a huge security issue, because we don't know who many of these young men are. And be in no doubt, Whilst among those that come, there are no doubt some people coming from horrible, perhaps even horrendous circumstances. The vast majority are young males and they're coming from Eritrea, they're coming from Iraq, they're coming from Afghanistan. They are not refugees in any sense of the word. They really, really are not. And I have to say, they're economic migrants taking advantage of a very weak United Kingdom. Pretty Patel can talk a big game. If she doesn't act, we're headed for a really disastrous summer.